What's up guys, Summit MTV here and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the specialized rock hopper lineup. The things that make these bikes similar are the frame and the stout crank set, which comes on all these bikes, whether it's 3x, 2x, or 1x. Bikes in this lineup all have different names as well. The first being the specialized rock harper, then moving on to the sport, comp, elite, and expert being the highest end bike in this lineup. Of course, we're going to start with the lowest end bike first, being the just specialized rock hopper. Beginning with the drivetrain, we're going to see that stout crank set and a front derailleur, which is Microshift FD M462 with the two speeds. In the rear, we're going to have Microshift Mezzo 8 speed on a Sunrace 11 to 34 tooth cassette. For the tire, we're going to have Specialized Fast Track Sport, and as the brakes, we're going to have CX7 mechanical disc brakes with 180 mm front and rear. The fork, finally, is going to be SR Suntour XCE with RX Tune adjusters, and it's going to be a coil spring. Up next is the Specialized Rock Hopper Sport, a step up from the regular Specialized Rock Hopper. In the front, we're going to have the same Microshift FDM derailleur and the same 2 by cranks. And in the rear, we're going to have Microshift RDM46L on a 9-speed Sunrace 11-36 tooth cassette. The tire is going to be the same Specialized Fast Track Sport, and the brakes are going to be Tektro BRM275 hydraulic disc brakes with 180mm front and rear. And the fork is going to be the same SR Suntour XCE that we saw on the previous bike. Moving on, we come to the Specialized Rock Hopper Comp. In the front, we're going to see a 1 by Stout crank set. And in the rear, we're going to have Microshift Advent. The derailleur being the 1 by 9 with a clutch. And the cassette is a Microshift Advent 9 speed, 11 to 42 tooth. Again, the tires are going to be the same Fast Track Sport. But the brakes are going to be SRAM level. These are two piston hydraulic disc brakes, and they come in 180mm front and rear. The fork on this bike is going to be the Coil Spring SR Suntour FCM, which comes with multi-circuit damping, a lockout, and RX Tune technology. Moving on, we come to the Specialized Rock Hopper Elite. Up front again, we're going to have Stout 1x crank set, and in the rear we're going to have Shimano Dior M5100 SGS with a cassette of Shimano Dior 11 speed, 11 to 51 tooth. The tires on here are going to be specialized fast track control tubeless T5s, and yes, that is spelled tubeless. The brakes on here are going to be Shimano BRMT 200s, hydraulic disc brakes with 180mm front and rear. The fork is going to be RockShox Judy with a solo air spring and a turkey damper. And from there we move on to the final bike, the Specialized Rock Hopper Expert, the highest specification bike in this lineup. For the drivetrain we have SX Eagle, that's a crank set, SX Eagle, rear derailleur, SX Eagle, and everything basically except for the cassette, which is SRAM PG 10210, which is a 10 to 50 tooth cassette. The brakes are going to be the same Shimano brakes as we saw on the Elite, and the tires are also going to be the same, as is the fork. Now, one thing i got to say is nice about this bike lineup is that there's no 3x drivetrains. There's only 2x and 1x, which, although 2x could be 1x, it's still a huge upgrade from a 3x drivetrain. That's it for this video, but if you liked it, please consider subscribing, leave a like and a comment, and don't forget to stick around for the next one.